Hello and welcome back to the Bold Bavarians. So the fate of our uncle has been decided. He is gonna die. However, we cannot kill him because that would be considered very bad. We'd be a familial kinslayer, everyone's gonna be unhappy with us. It's just generally a bad idea. So, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna kill him? Well, first of all, you know, let, let's kill his social status by um, just revoking his title. Boom, your title is mine. Then, you know what? We're gonna chuck him in a dungeon. There we go, he's in the dungeon now. He'll die in time, we'll just forget about him. Along with Hugbert, who, uh, who, who's that again? Uh, anyway, right, so now we've done that, um, we can see that uh, we now have that extra title. Now, one idea that was given, which I might do, I still haven't decided, is we might give the land to our cousin here because that would be quite nice. So we'll do a little pin on him when he's, uh, you know, of, of the right age, we may pass him this land back and let it go into its natural hands. But until that point, uh, what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna stick our husband onto managed domain and look at that, we're able to hold a new holding. Isn't that great? Cool. Now we've done that, uh, what do we need to do? Well, I think we need to wait for our troops to get up to full. And it will suggest that we could maybe use our Spy Master for something else now. Our Spy Master does hate us. We got a better Spy Master who doesn't hate us. Now that we've got a moment to think. Uh, this vassal we could reassign is better. Do we have a better Marshal? We, we have an alright Marshal further down. Like, I mean, the thing about this Marshal is, although he might be terrible, Marshal's a much better position to have someone who's slightly worse in. Because if you have somebody who, or somebody who's slightly worse and wants to kill you, uh, because you know having a bad spy master who dislikes you is basically like, hey, come at me and kill me. Um, while having a bad marshal is just like you're just gonna be a little bit subpar. Um, hmm, it's a tough one. Uh, do we have anybody else we can hire? Actually, that's something that we could maybe have a look at. Uh, like, do you have high marshal? No. Just checking here. No, that's the only one that we could get. Wow, you're terrible. You're just like truly awful. What's this one? Oh, you're stupid. That's why you okay, it's so it's you basically have a negative to all your traits. Well, that would do it. That would do it. Um Hmm. Or we could just try and sway my grandmother. Let's convert we well, instead of converting her, let's um Although she might actually already be a witch. You know what, she might be a witch. Let's try converting her. Let's see what happens, because I think we might get the instant conversion. And let's uh, let the game on pause. Munch, the troublemaker. My sister, Countess Susanna, approaches me, rage in her eyes and dog in her hand, dragged along by the scruff of its neck. As she reaches me, I see that it's my dear Munch she is holding. I found this beast among my things. What wasn't chewed to bits was covered in excrement. I can pay you 50 gold, or he is a dog. I'm going to say to my sister, uh, he is a dog. Convert to witchcraft the reveal. My grandmother, uh, Kunitsa, is not in her bed as I sneak through a window on my mission from the Horned God. Where would... Who is that? I twist around to find Kunitsa crouched over a pentagram sketched on the floor. Aha, uh -huh, so she actually likes us better after that. Wonderful, because she knows that we're both a wit. That we are both witches. Cool. Uh, and now that she likes us, we could potentially stick her on something else. Uh, something like maybe find secrets could be cool. We'll suggest that maybe we could find uh, people who are witches. Um, which is an idea. Or um, potentially we could do other things with this. Let's just go find some secrets. Um, I was trying to think, could we find secrets in our own land? Yeah, in my court. Let's just see who, what secrets we can uh, pull up around our court. Might be useful. Um, right, now what else are we doing here? So this one we're about to get a next part on. We already have the Cass's Belly cost halved. So if we had any good Cass's Bellies, we could use them. If we don't, then we need to start getting some good Cass's Bellies. So Osberg and Swabia, no, no, nothing's come out of those. We know that they have good allies. So, you're about to get one of these in six months. I think we just save up money for six months and we're good. Yeah, I think, I think we're happy. Pregnancy. A child is growing in my womb. My husband will be proud. Fantastic. We're gonna have a child. It's our first child. It is. Ooh, so our heir is gonna appear soon. 
Uh, we need a new Marshall one. So we can get one of these ones if we wanted to. I don't really think that we need any of this. I'm trying to see if we have anything that's actually good here. Not really. Um, one thing actually that was suggested as well while we're looking at military stuff is that we could potentially hire more men at arms. And there is a lot, bit of logic behind that, right? Because we keep hiring these guys. And these guys cost us 200 gold each time. And they give us, what, 400 pikemen and 500 levies. Something like that, right? So, we could keep hiring these guys for 200 a time. Or, we could actually get some men at arms. Now, the thing about men at arms is that actually the pikemen are quite expensive. If we have a look here, pikemen cost 75 up front, right? And that's for 100 pikemen. If we were to get 400, realistically we need more like 600 if we're going to be equivalent to these levies as well. So let's say 600. We need 6 times by 75, which is quite a lot. Then we also need to pay 0 0.27 times by 6, so uh, 1.2 every month, times by, let, let, let's say times by 12 for a year. Y you're looking at like, well almost 13 gold a year which would then be like you know if, if we say like over 10 years you're paying like 130 gold on top of that so it's a lot up front and it's 130 gold every 10 years if you're hiring the mercenaries like every 10 like once every 10 years it, it probably is it's about even between these two but the mercenaries um like, don't cost you money all the time, I think. And I, you get more options if you want to, whether or not you want to actually use them. The other thing you could say is, um, if you're constantly paying for something, you've already kind of absorbed that cost. And then you don't notice it. Uh, and they'll always be available. Well, they do cost a lot more if you're actually going to use them, though. Um, but yeah, they're always going to be available, while the mercenaries might not always be available. And they might not always be a cost that you're happy with. But... It's kind of like a 50-50 between these. I'm like, I'm not sure which one that I like better right now. Um, but right now, we can't afford to get an equivalent army to these mercenaries at all. Because we need to have the 6 times 75. So, you know, until we have that, I'm going to stick with mercenaries. But that's basically my logic there. Hopefully, it makes some level of sense. Anyway, we should get this claim soon, I think. There we are. Aha! I prowled through documents both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally found enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lady of the county of Estat. Seeing as G Guntbolt is um, unfortunately Catholic, you could see uh, I could even argue that you have a claim to the duchy. Now, let me have a look here. Does he have any allies? No. Oh, okay. Duchy shall be mine. I'll pay the money. It's going to be a huge cost, but having the claim is great. Um, you've discovered a secret held by my knight, Popo. He has taken Hedwig as a lover. Hedwig being my aunt. My aunt is unmarried. Oh. Well, how about I arrange marriage between you and... Wait, are you married? Why can you two not marry? Um. It's interesting. Arrange marriage. Yes, yeah, so you're going to marry her. That seems fine. Um, we'd want it to be matrilineal. But yeah, there we go. You are now married. Cool. Uh, we'll let that one go. Nothing going on there. Oh, there's the perk I never took. Yes. So, serve for the crown gives us control growth. And then this one gives us reduced risks when we're uh, in charge of armies. I don't think we actually need any of this, unless, of course, we want promising prospects to increase the chance that we get good marriages. Uh, knight effectiveness, though, is cool. Yeah, knight effectiveness is a little bit cool. And in the center, we have serve the crown, which is al always very good. I'm um, just seeing whether we have anything else we actually want here. I kind of like hard rule as well. I think we're going to take serve the crown, and then I think it might be time to pivot. When, when can we change this? Does it say? We change it in two years. So I think we get one more and then we pivot off of uh, the uh, martial lifestyle because it's not really working for us right now. Because we're not really uh, running out of ruling army or like uh, running armies. Um, yeah, our prowess is really low, so we're not going to be in charge of armies at any point. So, Magan 
Tonka Menon, a prominent figure amongst the Bideists, has gathered every Hogan in the land together to discuss their belief and establish an official doctrine for their pagan faith. These Bideic Hogans are encouraging cooperation and tolerance even towards non-believers, and claim that the only way to show proper devotion is by honouring Bidu with human sacrifices. Oh, lovely. The burgeoning movement has decided not to instate a religious head, and preferring instead to let each Hogan determine what teachings are appropriate for their own temple. It does not matter what these pagans believe, or heathens. Uh, Alright, so Ghana has uh, got enough together to actually do that. Interesting. Okay, well, we don't need to worry about it, although that... I'm just looking at that learning stat. That's incredible. Anyway, back down here. Uh, we're still low on gold. I'm trying to think if there's anything we can do. There's not really anything we can do to gain money, is there? Nope. Alright, well, let's just uh, unpause and let it continue going. We have a new daughter. She shall be called... Do we have an ancestor's name? Uh, wait, where's R Random Ancestor? Edelheid, Hilwig. You know what? Give me a new one. Give me a new one. A Bavarian name. Christine. Cool. I'll do. Uh, we're in debt. Yeah, we're getting these negatives. That's okay. No, uh, you can't educate my daughter. I'm sorry. It's just, a, it's just a no. Also, she's only just been born. Oh, what's this? Lisping. Ah, oh, not, not the best of traits for us to have. That's okay. Got any more secrets? Maybe. Uh, you've not discovered anything else. No, there might be more secrets. Keep going. Keep going. We're getting a bunch of negatives for being in debt. But well, hopefully the uh, duchy that we're going to gain will be good. And uh, we'll kind of negate those. It's become a habit to walk munch daily. And I'm not sure which of us enjoys the fresh air and sun the most. Munch bounds ahead and looks back at me and barks as if to say, catch up. And on we walk. Sweet walking dog, which gives us a health boost. Wonderful. That's good. I really don't like all these negatives that we're getting here. Hey, we've got another child on the way. Wonderful. Yeah, all these levy size negatives are really going to hurt at some point. But, hey. At least we're making a reasonable amount and it's going to go away. We have a new liege. Um, so, Wilhelm is dead. And the next person who's taking over is Sigismund. Okay. Uh, who was prior uh, prior to this uh, the uh, in charge of the Duchy of Steiermark? Okay, interesting. Uh, wait, was that not one of the allies of like Osberg? It was. Interesting. So that I think has actually made Osberg weaker because I believe that now uh, they are not able to call them into a war against us. That is incredibly useful to know. Yeah. So I might want to just attack Osberg when this gets done. We have a son called Wolfram. Okay, although actually, you know what he's actually called? He's called... Uh, Demo. There we go. That's the one I was looking for. Perfect. And he's Hale, which is a positive health trait. Wonderful. Our level of fame went up, so we're now distinguished, so we can have an extra knight if we want to. Great. A little bit of extra power for free doesn't hurt. Espionage, deviancy. While performing her duties as my spy master, Kunitsa has discovered a secret help of my mother. Uh, the ways in which she seeks pleasure are revolting for any decent woman to even think of, and yet she is not merely willing, but eager. It feels so unnatural and sickening. No, it is unnatural and sickening. An offense against God. Yeah, thanks for telling me that my mother is a deviant. I'm sure that that's something that I really needed to know. My vassal, Mayor Wilhelm, approaches me, rage in his eyes and cat in his hand, held by the scruff of its neck. As he thrusts uh, the cat in my face, I see it's my dear Morgana. I found this little monster among my things. It wasn't scratched a bit, so it was covered in piss. He is a cat, you know. That's kind of what they do. Anyway, we'll wait a little bit. Munch, the meeting. I'm out walking Munch when suddenly I see my cousin Willeberg Approach with a beautiful brown dog. Before either of us can react, Munch and the other dog take off. I'm sure they'll be fine. My cousin Willeberg and I find the two dogs after a while in the middle of a playful fight. It's good to see that Holdfast is having such fun. You named your dog Holdfast? What's wrong with you? Oh, I can pet Munch. Of course, I'll pet my dog. Wonderful. Losing some stress. I'll now pet my cat. 
Fantastic. Losing some stress. Letting our money go back into the positives. There we go. We'll wait one more tick. Someone's attacking my liege. What was the war? A claim on a county. Burgundian claim. Okay. Um, greetings, granddaughter. Despite my best efforts, we've not found any more secrets. I'm sure you will in time. Right, Osberg. Now, I believe that if I declare this one, your ally cannot join. Yeah! Okay. So how strong are you now? Um, 1,400. So we have less strength, but... No, sorry, we don't have less strength. We have less strength than we did, but we still have more than them. Oh yeah, I'm definitely declaring. Matthias, what's your claim? Uh, you have a claim on that county. Why can I not declare it? I'm not entirely sure why I can't declare it. It's not really giving me a great clue. Is your claim... What, what's up with your claim? Uh, your claim on Kempton. Unpressed claim. Okay. Um... And then why can I not press it on you? What 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 what's the reasoning? I'm trying to figure this out here. Not entirely sure. Maybe it's something to do with the type of claim he's got? I don't know. Let's have a look here for a second on it. Unpressed claims, legally tenuous, not inherited. Compressed if they're done in a war. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't say that there's any conditions. Do I have to declare it on this guy? No, it's just grayed out. No particular reason. Alright then, maybe I'll just wait a month? Maybe it still thinks I'm lowing money? No. Alright, well, we can't press that claim. Uh, Nordkal? No allies. Uh, less troops. Seems that we should be able to uh, destroy him. Let's do so. My claim on his... What? Why can we not press our claim? Doesn't make any sense. Am I miss... I must be missing something obvious because we appear to not be able to declare wars? What's up with that? Why can we not declare any war... Is there, like... Let me just have a look. Os Osberg? No. Uh, Swabia? No. Nordgau? No. Is there something to do? Has like, my leash changed his, um... We're on level... We're on three? It's three. Uh, vassals cannot wage wars on other vassals unless they use a hook on their leash. Excuse me? That is incredibly not okay. Yeah, I want to be... What well, well, happens if this is enforced de demands? Agate's Law... Limited Crown Authority. I'm totally on the attacker side. Uh, but yeah, okay. Not okay with that. Can I join a faction against my leash? I would love to join the Lower Crown Authority faction. Yeah, I'm the new faction leader. As I should be. Yeah. Oh, wait, uh, is there any members I can add to this? This is a huge problem for me. Cannot be forced to join... I didn't really want to force them to join. I more wanted to just see if they would join. You know, just out of the uh, goodness of their heart. Although what I'd really like is to just be able to declare war. So if my liege would just give me, you know, um, like one of these, I'd, I'd appreciate it. So I'd like the ability to declare war. Um, and then I'd like to increase my feudal taxes for that. Are you okay with that? You are. Oh, okay. Yeah, this seems fine. Do I want to raise my taxes, or is there something else I can give up? Uh, I'll, I'll pay more taxes, that's fine. Aha! Uh -huh. He's just fine with me modifying my, my contract. Well, that's alright then. You know what? Never mind. Uh, see you later. I don't need to be in the faction. Doesn't, doesn't affect me. Now we can press it, and it only costs this much because we've got uh, Sanctioned War Declaration and Bellum Justum, which is good. Right, um, yeah, declare war. Boom, we're in. Uh, let's raise all of our troops. 
And then wait a second or two and just march them over. Oh no, half of them made it and then the other half backed out and they got destroyed. Cool. Let's uh, go for straight to organization here to... Is that the one that we want? Maybe. Yeah, straight to organization. And then we'll pivot off of that to something else. Stewardship's generally a good one because you can get golden obligations. We could also try and get one that increases our health, like whole of body. Might, it could be a good time for that. We've not really got any other pressing concerns for us right now. Yeah, you know what? Let's go medicine focus and try and get down into some of this whole of body stuff. I think it seems like a good thing to do while we're young enough that it's actually going to make a difference later on. Uh, we caught Count Arnold. Uh, what's, up, what's up with Count Arnold? We get 50 gold for him. That's what's up. Definitely. I'm in. Alright, march on to his other army and destroy it too. Nice. Our liege one is war. Don't don't care. Uh, then we're gonna march to the war goal. We're gonna siege it. Sixteen months. Do we have anybody um, who's better at leading one of these sieges? Not really. I said that we have eighteen pre uh, eighteen advantage, but we only have four. Why does it go up to eighteen here? What's up with that? Martial skill plus leading own troops. That's for our commander advantage. Hmm. I was wondering why our prowess is so low then. I thought that that was where that advantage came from, basically, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm equating the two a little bit too one-to-one. -one. Right. With a siege, we don't need to worry. Morgana, the gift giver. We got two gold. I actually do appreciate it. It's quite useful. Powerful vassal expects a council position. Wait, which one expects a council position? Susanna, my sister. Oh. Okay. What are you good at? You're good at Marshall. Okay, okay. I'm going to replace you with Baroness Waldara. Uh, no, I just want to swap. Oh, well, whatever. I'm going to fire you. That's fine. I'm then going to put my Marshall as this guy. My Chancellor can then be Susanna. Fantastic. Everybody's happy. I'm actually getting a better Marshall out of all of that. Cool. Siege and down. Anything new here? Low control in counties. I was aware of that. Uh, Munch, the council meeting. As me and my councillors are gathering for a meeting, my dog Munch approaches me with begging eyes and a drooping tail. He does not like to be left alone, but this is an important meeting. He will join me. Yeah, of course. I am sorry, Duchess Judith, says my steward, Count Matthias. I have to disagree with what you just... Grr. Munch gives a, grutter, a guttural growl, and Count Matthias jerks back, looking from the dog to me and back. On second thoughts, I think it's a great idea. Aha! That's all we needed. Hey! We now are going to have another child. Great news, potentially. Espionage. Attempted murder. You have discovered a secret uh, held by my grandmother. She tried to kill Clara. Who is? Um... Oh, she, she's a uh, daughter of Themo. That doesn't really help me. Uh, she's Matthias's uh, sister. Okay, so she's like my great aunt. Okay, well, we know the secret now. That's all we needed to know. Prematurely. As the gaze, days go by, my trepidation grows instead of my, uh, instead of my belly. Surely it should show more by now. Surely the child would have made itself known. Something must have gone wrong, for I can feel no spark of life within me. I am pregnant no more. Oh dear. Well, we've won the siege. Let's go stop them from uh, doing this to us. So we'll just go attack in here. Simple battle win. We're known for dedication to our faith. How much does, have they got for having this one? They've got minus 29%. Okay, so we if we hold it, then yeah, we'll win. And it's going to be a lot quicker for us to siege this than it's going to be for them to siege that one back. We should probably get some men-at-arms that would help us sieging. Uh, that sounds like a good thing. Right, march away over here. Destroy the army. Oh, they're running. Morgana, rodent killer. We're now rat free. Huge health boost. We do have a powerful faction, apparently. That wants to install Hildegard. Really? We want to install Hildegard, huh? Who would have thought? Right, uh, we can ransom my rival. 
which I think that we will, just to gain the money to pay for the war. Then you know what? Let's uh, ransom Matthias here. Keep chasing down. Oh, that's going to be another good one. To death do us part. J Duke Berenger has been murdered. My, de Ber my dear Berenger, I might not have loved you, um, yet I feel your passion more accurately than I ever thought possible. You were always there, my constant c companion. Did I take you for granted? There are so many things left unsaid. My husband is dead, because he was slain in battle. I mean, that's kind of alright. I don't think that that's really murdered, really. I don't know. I think we're mostly okay with that. Green Ransom uh, Willa as well. I'm just going to wait for that to go off before I uh, do anything else. Sweet smiles and little lies. Just like other children his age, my son and heir Themo sometimes lies and tests boundaries. However, he often avoids suspicion with his sweet demeanor. People off always forgive him when he does get caught. wonder how much he does get away with. He's charming. Hmm. Okay. Just waiting for my uh, ransom accepted to come in, and then we will enforce our demands. Nice. We get all of that. We also then gain a weak hook on my uh, uncle here, so we could potentially do some things. Like, we could potentially convert him over to our religion. He's going to accept 100% anyway. Um, no, we'll just ask him to convert, actually. Um, you've discovered a secret held by my court chaplain, Azo. He has taken Uniki as a lover. It's useful to know. You have converted. Nice. Is there anything else I could do? I could change your feudal contract, I suppose. Yeah, I could be like... Hey, you're going to pay me normal taxes and use a hook. His obligations have already been changed. Okay, I guess I can't, I can't do that, but that's okay. Right, we'll disband our troops. Let them uh, get back to normal a little bit. Oh, I think it's because it lowered my control in one of these counties, and that lowered my levies. That's why I have so many less troops. Oh, right. 17 months till we get some in there. Uh, what's the control like in our holdings? So... Yeah, so control in our main holding isn't full, which is never a great sign. Um, wait, which one was it? Th this one. Yeah, our control's only 50%, but our levies are 400. Yeah, so we want to get that pushed up, definitely. That's going to give us so many more troops. Um, yeah, we'll let that one go. We're a little bit low on money. Uh, we need to find a new husband. Do we have one? Um, some. We have an alliance power nearby that could be useful. We could potentially... Um, who is Beringer? Well, was that not one that was doing something useful for us? Yeah, so that was Matthias's son. But the fact that he's now dead... Um, means that he could join a faction again. Hmm. That's something we need to watch out for. I don't think we're necessarily as worried as we were. So somebody I can marry who's related to you... You could be useful. I mean, we could marry... Oh, you're already betrothed. We could marry this son, but that's going to be a little bit too young there. Could could kill his wife and then marry him. That seems like a bad idea, all things considered. Um, okay. Could marry outside of us. We could marry, like, into Corinthia or Brabant or Bohemia, if there's something going here. Primary ear is your sibling... Who then has this guy, and then... Okay, so there's nothing we're really getting there. How about Brabant? You got any um, people we can marry? Not immediately. You know what? I'm just going to use the marriage finder. It's so much easier. Magdeburg? Okay, that's not too far away, is it? That's... Uh... Yeah, it's right here. Oh, no. No, I don't want to marry them. They're going to get absolutely destroyed. Um... Got anyone else? If I switch to Alliance Power again. Uh, so we have East Franconia, but they're too young, really. We want somebody we can immediately marry. Although, we could get the Albino trait again into uh, this duchy, which would be cool. Let's have a look at you. So you're like the third or fourth son. Okay, also gives us another Irish connection, which could be interesting as well. Magdeburg, that's the one we just looked at. Ulster, another Irish connection. There's nobody who's really like the right age. That's that's more the thing I'm looking for, I guess. Yeah, let's switch this to instead age. 
and then yeah the other way around do we want to kind of just scroll down to I mean like the 20s and just see who we've got available he just looks a little bit gormless just completely how about you you're fecund which is okay yeah, you seem like you're, you'd be all right yeah no, I'm gonna marry Philip although we do actually need a high stewardship skill potentially uh, although nine might be high enough to get what we need Let's see if we have anyone who actually has a higher stewardship skill not really nines I mean like we have a couple but I mean you'd be fine no I think he's I think we think we'll go for this guy he'll probably be all right matrilineal marriage yeah send that one through doesn't get us an alliance or anything, but does give us a potential good trait out of it. Yeah, that sounds good. And actually just having him lets us have that extra domain. Although, is that because he's immediately on managed domain? It is. If I switch him to assist ruler, he cannot. Okay. But managed domain, he's got just enough to let us get that. Perfect. Let's uh, let some of this go on a little bit further. Troop numbers are going up, so this is going to be weakening that faction each uh, time our troop numbers go up. Also, not being in debt will help us. I'm now pregnant. Okay, cool. Positive on our money. That's going to help quite a lot. Staring at stars. From all my evening watching stars, from all my evenings watching stars, I've seen with my own eyes what I've only heard before. The stars move at different speeds and reverse their course at different times, but seemingly in large groups depending on which uh, celestial sphere they belong to. Indeed, with the right calculations, one could even predict their movements. My court chaplain does not approve, of course. Leave the skies be. The celestial realm is for the clergy to know. So I will find my answers in the heavens, which gets us insight into the heavens and the stewardship and learning bonus, which is pretty nice. Or I should focus uh, on earthly matters, which gets us some piety. I don't think I really need piety. I'll find my answers in the heavens. A night to forget. By God, this party is boring. As though it's got to be the worst host the world has ever seen. How can mortal woman be expected to endure this snoring celebration of mediocrity? I cast my eyes cast about the room looking for diversion. Any diversion in the corner, Humbert stares daggers at me. I've got to do something to stop this evening dragging. So I can uh, go after Humbert. Say, let's have a dance. Someone barred the doors. The place would burn easily. Uh, lower my... You would lose 95 stress because you're compassionate. What? I think it's impatient and wrathful and compassionate is bringing it down, but I just love the idea that I'm compassionate, so I'm going to put it out of, you know, put this uh, party out of its misery by burning everybody. Hmm. Who is Humper, anyway? I don't know. He's just some unlanded dude. I could bar the doors. Um... Oh, but, yeah, okay, never mind. Humpert's going to be wounded, but it's actually a Azos, the other one. Oh, and then, yeah, okay, never mind. Quietly slink away. The dance is not going to work. I guess I'm just going to be mad at Humbert. Let's see what he has to say. Humbert? He's my rival. Oh, he, he, uh, he rages back and became my rival. Uh, keep it up for looking in secrets. Taking or giving. My uncle Count Friedrich has joined me for a new moon rite in honor of the Orn Horned God. As the host, it's my duty to lead us in prayer. And we get a friendship, which would potentially get clear mind as well. Or gets him clear mind. Or I can get clear mind and lower stress. Let's, let's get a friendship with Friedrich. Sure. He is that vassal who's in the faction against us. It seems like a good thing to do. He's also a family member. Cool. Right, with that, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.